the movies, in restaurants, everywhere you go, cell phones, ringing in all the wrong places. But there's something that can stop those annoying calls. It's a device that can jam all cell phones around you. And it really works. Find out what it is and why you can't have one. Tonight on the Fox 11 10 o'clock news. Blocking annoying cell phones, the controversial device that can shut them down. L.A.'s number one choice for news. Fox 11, 10 o'clock news. Well, cell phones, how often do they ring in the wrong places at just the wrong time? Wouldn't it be great if there was a device you could just switch on, which basically turns off every cell phone around you? Well, there is. And Fox 11 wants to know found it. It's the cell phone jammer, and it really works, but you can't have one. It's a sure thing. They'll ring where they're not wanted with cell chaos in class, at the library, the museum, during a movie, even at a funeral. Everybody has a horror story. Well, in the movie theater when it goes off, or actually once I was at the opera, and it went off in the opera. A church is a real drag. I can't believe that people turn their cell phones on in church, or they leave them on in church, and the, uh, the, the father's in the middle of his homily, and the, uh, and the cell phone goes off. It's absurd. It's not God calling, is it? <laughs> yeah, it's probably not. I've actually seen people have conversations during the movie, like loud and laughing, and, you know, I'm like, wow, what, what's the problem here? There are now devices that will shut these things down. You turn one of these on and you've just shut down every cell phone around. Right now, we'll go ahead and activate the unit and see what happens. It happens fast. Two of our phones quickly switch to searching and the third flips to no service. Searching on the display of the cell phones, that is an indication that the signal is actually blocked. This is Mobile Blocker, made in California for image sensing systems. And it really does what the name implies. A signal? Carry the blocked phone away. Nothing. Take it farther. In the room, behind the wall, still nothing. Then all the way to the end of the corridor. Wow. Still just came back. Just came back, the end of the hallway. That must be about 100 yards. Pretty impressive. But there is a problem. You can't operate these jammers legally in the United States. The Federal Communications Commission says it won't approve anything that interferes with the public's airwaves. But they are legal in most of the world. That's why we tested Mobile Blocker south of the border in Tijuana. Mexican telecommunications regulations do permit the use of cell phone jamming equipment. Bill Sowell is vice president of the firm that markets Mobile Blocker. So we're marketing toward upscale restaurants, places of worship, museums, and also law enforcement is, is certainly interested in the use of cell phone jamming devices. This model puts out just a fraction of a watt. No signal. But that's enough to knock out cell phones in the immediate area. Just came back, right in the middle of the street. And here's the super model, 10 watts, the ultimate cell phone killer. It basically is very directional. Out this way. Out that way. And so if we were to plug this in, it would block all the mobile phones on the side of that hill. All the way up here. Up to about two and a half miles. Wow. Customers for this unit, only the federal government and the military. But would jammers infringe on your right to use a cell phone whenever you want it? No, no, not if I'm told up front that, that that's what's going to happen. You know, you know going into the movie theater, there'll be a big sign posted outside that says your cell phone won't work, so deal with it. I don't know if that's right, because what if someone's expecting, you know, what if, if someone's having a, an emergency? You know, I think the jammer's a great idea. I really do. I'd like to put a jammer in my office and have a jammer that just follows me so, so, so my fo cell phone doesn't continuously call. The cell jammers cost anywhere from $800 to well into the thousands. Netline and image sensing systems say their biggest customers are theater owners and mosques and churches, along with the military and law enforcement. But remember, you can't use one in this country, at least not legally. If you want something investigated, call our Fox 11 Wants to Know hotline at 888-FOX-2272.